now here uh, i want to discuss uh, ine b question number 22 uh, but for for understanding question number 22 we need to understand question number 21 also though 21 is uh, easier than 22nd but like i want to make it a complete thing so so I i'll discuss briefly question number 21 and then i'll move to question number 22 in question number 21 you can see we have to take sigma of this expression which is an expression in terms of r and s and we have to sum it over all values of s from 0 to n and all values of r from 0 to n so this sigma is different from the sigma which we are going to discuss in question number 22nd where the two sigmas are connected like this the values of r are bounded by the values of s right so 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 the, the, this these two are not same this means like this is like in r and s are independent of each other even you can move this sigma out and you can move this you can bring this in so there's r is not dependent upon s or not bounded by s and s is not bounded by r right so 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 we can call this scenario as two sigmas but in, in disconnected mode two disconnected sigmas so uh, what we do we divide about this plus sign into two parts we make two sigmas two terms now in this case uh, we have to take first of all sigma over the values of s so we can take shift this part outside so this becomes sigma of r into cr r varies from 0 to n into sigma cs s varies from 0 to n same we do on, on this side sigma over s we have to take sigma over s uh, so there is a misprinting here this is s we have to take sigma over s so we can sh shift cr out sigma cr s cs s varies from 0 to n r varies from 0 to n now we know summation of cs for, for all values of s from 0 to n is 2 to the power n so we write this as 2 to the power n and we shift 2 to the, to the power n even out of this second sigma because 2 to the power n is independent of r second sigma we have to take over r and there is no r term here so we sum it and shift it out 2 to the power n sigma of r c r r varies from 0 to n same on this side we apply formula summation r c r formula you know it is n into 2 to the power n minus 1 we write the summation and then we take out of the sigma sign because it is independent of r left over is sigma of cr r varies from 0 to n and this sigma is 2 to the power n on in this side again apply formula summation r cr n times 2 to the power n minus 1 so both of them are equal so we the answer is double of the first one or double of the second one So it is 2n 2 to the power 2n minus 1. Uh, so I don't think any of the. So we can you can change this. We can combine this to n into 2 to the power 2n. This is n into 2 to the power 2n, and that is uh, b choice. Now we'll move to question number 22nd. in question 22nd we have to do the double sigma of the same term r plus s cr and cs but the two sigmas are connected this time like this so so this connection means that if i say s equal to 0 r is not possible because r should be less than s the values of r are bounded by the values of s or values of s starts after the value of r so if s is 0 r is not possible because r has to be less than s and s is 0 so r is not possible if s is 1 then we say r equal to 0 and and that's all r, r can be 0 right the, just to understand this i am taking some time I'm to explain you this later when you will solve problem you don't have to do all this so when s is 0 
आर एस जीरो और वन एस एस टू आर एस जीरो और वन एस एस थ्री आर इक्वल टू जीरो वन टू ना अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस इफ आई ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट दिस सिग्मा इज इट इज वेन एस एस वन राइट आर एस जीरो सो जीरो प्लस वन इंटू सी नॉट सी वन वेन एस एस टू आर कैन टेक टू वैल्यूज जीरो प्लस टू सी जीरो सी टू प्लस वन प्लस टू सी वन सी टू राइट दिस इज फॉर एस इक्वस टू वन एंड सॉरी दिस इज फॉर एस इक्वस टू वन एंड दिस इज फॉर एस इक्वस टू टू दिस गोज ऑन नाउ टू सम ऑफ दिस सी द अप्रोच यू गोन टू फॉलो इज विल मेक अ टू डायमेंशनल ग्रिड 